Hi, I'm Laura Lowe and I teach piano. Hi, I'm Laura Lowe and my spaces are all inflamed with clutter. I'm terrible about tidying up and picking up and keeping things organized. And I'm about to go on a journey in this studio to get it to a, an attractive, functional space. So I'm going to invite you to join me on this journey as I reorganize this studio and figure out a more functional and more attractive room. But I'm also going to talk about how it got this way and what I'm going to do to keep it from getting this way again. Now, I'm about to be super candid. This is kind of embarrassing, but I'm going to show you the before. Here we go. Now, you might have been thinking as you watched me, hey, Laura, your room looks pretty good. That's not too bad. <laughs> Let's pull the camera back and see if you still feel that way. <laughs> it is pretty much a mess. So when you come into my studio from the front door, I do like the view that you see through the door to be not too bad. And so I tend to keep that space pretty tidy. But as you come in, you see it's really not tidy. So this is an Ikea bookshelf that has uh, all sorts of stuff. That's music in those notebooks, handouts in the notebooks. I don't even remember what's in that little black plastic drawer thing. Uh, my Native American flutes. Yes, that's the CD player. I do still use it. Uh, but, you know, a lot of that could be digitized or reorganized and cleaned up and tidied up. Okay, I'm pretty good about keeping the sofa clear so that people have a place to sit uh, inside these drawers. And I love that cabinet. Um, it's not going to stay in the room, but I do love it. <laughs> I'm not getting rid of it. Uh, things that I've collected after we started all teaching online because of COVID. This is a thing that holds my phone for doing videos. Down here on the floor, I have my Strong Tech piano footrest, which I like. You can see the cables, which are not hidden in the least. Uh, the basket up here on top of the piano. This is really embarrassing. The, the stuff that you see there, I have stickers that are for uh, when students play really well. This is my sloth that I pull out to remind students to slow down. And honestly, I have not reached below the surface level of that basket in over a year. I don't even know what's in that basket. This corner, this, this piece of furniture might look nice on the video, but it's actually one of those assemble yourself things that I bought from the office store. The shelves are already sagging. Uh, the magazine files on the bottom I thought it might be nice. They're just cardboard Ikea magazine files. And when I first got them, I thought it might be nice to cover them and make them look prettier. <laughs> and that took a lot more work than I was anticipating. So I kind of quit halfway through. Uh, I made an attempt to try to label them so that I would know what was in them. But then the labels don't stick very well. So some of them have fallen off. That hasn't been the worst system in the world for organizing music but it's really not the best either. And at the end of the day, a lot of the music that's in there, I need to either get rid of, store somewhere else, or digitize. So that's gonna get cut dramatically. The little shallow shelf right there has become a catch-all that stuff just gets lost in there. Most of the stuff in that little corner, the colored pencils and the little cards behind it, I do tend to use in my daily lessons. I don't know when I have even opened most of the books on this shelf. If it's a hymnal, I use it. If it's not, it's something left over from a class I either took or taught, and it needs to go away. This little rolling desk has been actually very handy for teaching online lessons uh, because it rolls and I can angle it toward either one of my keyboards here. Sorry, I just made you very dizzy. In my desk chair is my church bag. Uh, I frequently play at my church. I'm not the regular uh, organist or pianist at my church, but I play quite a lot. I play for a couple of ensembles. And so that's the bag that the music travels back and forth with me in. 
Here on the music rack for the digital piano is music that I have pulled out to um, use with online students and I tend to just sort of keep it out uh, rather than put it away in between those students. Over here you can see what I have uh, on my keyboard bench. There's my pedal extender. I have games and things in the bottom drawer of this lateral file. And on the, in the top drawer, I have um, my quick grab organ music. Most of my organ music is boxed up elsewhere, but uh, my degree is in organ. I have a ton of organ literature, but I keep the quick grab stuff that I might need for when I'm playing at my church or subbing in that top drawer. This is what I call the chaos corner. <laughs> These are things that I just don't have a storage solution for, and they just end up getting thrown in the corner. And then I have my IKEA desk. This is really just two IKEA filing cabinets and or, or drawer file systems with a desktop on top. The two big drawers on the bottom are files, and I don't open them because most of what's in there is stuff that I've just thought I should keep that but I don't really have to do anything with it. A lot of that could be thrown away or digitized. But the thing is, these bottom drawers are not even useful right now because if I pull them out, they hit the rug. So I am very bad about not putting things away. So you can see how the stuff accumulates on my desktop. Then I have this uh, mic arm, mic boom. And I use that for uh, setting up my phone over my piano keyboard, one or the other, if I need to film an overhead shot of my hands or if I need it during an online lesson. So there we go. It's a mess and I am about to get started purging.